new tonight, a terrifying encounter for a Lakeland couple. Four strangers broke into their home overnight, tied one of them up, and held guns to their heads. Police caught three of the suspects, but they are still looking for a fourth tonight. Melissa Marino joins us now live in Lakeland, where that search continues. Melissa. What's really scary, police tell me this was completely random. And I spoke with this couple. They are thankful they only lost possessions. Stop a mold. Claudia Critton was in her doorway when the terror began. When the doorbell rings at 1230, call 911. She thought it was a prank, but when she opened the door, four men ambushed her. One put a gun to her head and tied her up with a table runner. Claudia's screams woke her husband, Charles. He ran to help, but was stopped by the barrel of a gun. Put it a couple inches from my head and pushed me back into the bedroom. The couple says one of the suspects did all of the talking. He then started screaming that he would hurt Claudia if I didn't give him more money. Uh, he also uh, started shouting at the rest of the people in the house uh, well, get the TVs. After about 30 yeah, minutes, yeah. the suspects made off with electronics, yeah. cash, the couple's car, and even an urn with their dog's ashes. 45 minutes later, officers spotted a different stolen car crashed in a ditch. Three of the four suspects were inside. Two of them are juveniles. Why aren't you in school? And then there's 19-year-old Isaiah Coffey, who had a lot to say. Do you have anything to say to the couple? I money. As for the Crittens, they're thankful it wasn't worse. The bottom line is we're, we're here and safe. Well, absolutely. And police believe the fourth suspect, the possible ringleader, is driving the couple's stolen car. That is a black 2012 Buick LaCrosse with the Florida tag BGU C84. Stacy? All right. Melissa Marino live in Lakeland for us tonight. Thank you very much. Still to come tonight.